Yeah, Connor. After that, do you think that I could maybe take Mr. Peanuts to the pup doctor? Cause you know, I just want to make sure they didn't get into a cabbage patch or something crazy. I don't have to call you back. I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, you're a girl. Okay. Um, is Hannah around? Uh, we thought she has had a hair, right? Yep, the one with hair. I think she was here. I just had some ideas for next time I'm in the brain frame. Oh, cool. I thought it'd be fun if, like, we're at a buffet, but all the food in the buffet is like sex parts, and then every time you eat something, you you come. I always wanted to eat a boob, like to see what it feels like, you know. But it tastes like Jello, but it would give you an orgasm. I don't know why I'm telling you this. Well, you probably feel safe with me. Um. Well. You let Hannah know I came by. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I found Hannah for you. There you go. Okay. Okay. Bye, Victoria. <gasps> hey, Larry. <sighs> what the hell was that? Oh, Bergman. I think I'm in love. <laughs> Larry, here's the thing. Women want to bone just as badly as dudes want to bone, but society says they can't. I don't know about boning, that's not really my So problem. I'm gonna teach you a three-step process that guarantees you can take any woman home within an hour. Wow. The first step is the insult sandwich. Insult sandwich? That's when you insult a girl, and then you compliment her, and then you insult her again. It throws women off. It's like when you hold a magnet up to a bat's head. Why don't you try one on me? Okay, Berkman, you are an overcompensating jackhole. You have cool facial hair. Based on context clues that I've picked up, your mother left you with an abusive father who had an alcohol problem because you're always trying to shine above everybody else for no particular reason other than your own selfishness? Seems like you're a pretty quick study. Oh, hey, Larry. Oh, hey, Victoria. Did Hannah come back? No, she didn't. If you weren't such a dumb, dumb bubble gum, I think you would have seen that. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me? You remind me of this beautiful little multi poo that I used to foster. The only difference is that multi poo's breath didn't smell nearly as bad as yours. Now, step two is skin to skin contact, human touch. It's very important. Ooh, two become one flesh. Oh, thanks. <sighs> okay. And the final step, of course, is the X Factor. That's when you do something so memorable that the girl can't help but take you home. Like what? Well, this one time I was trying to have a threesome with these two sorority sisters, so I burned down an Arby's. Worked on one of them. Okay, Arby's. Larry? I think you're a natural. Insult sandwich, skin contact. Pretty impressive X factor. Mama like. Do you want to like go out on a date sometime? Sure. Yeah. It'd be funny. Cool, I know a uh, really chill dog park, like right down the street. No, I don't like dogs, I'm allergic. <laughs> what? I hate <laughs> dogs. But like as a joke, right? No, like for real. <laughs> <laughs> you do too? No, I need you to leave. What? Go. Why? Get out now! We can go ah, I just need you to leave, I just need you to leave. <laughs> okay. Okay. Go! We could go somewhere. No! She wants to go out on a date with me. <laughs> yes! Okay, guys, the very important rules. Okay, fuck the rules. This is science. Larry, hit it. You got it. Wait, no, 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 no. no, no, no. no.